Now here's a thought. What if there are wind turbines without large blades or without any blades at all? In that case, we would be able to install these aero generators almost anywhere. Wind turbines currently provide a good chunk of global electricity production. Despite the slowdown due to pandemic, 2020 was the best year in the history of the global wind industry with 93 gigawatts of new capacity installed. This brought the total capacity to 743 gigawatts in the year 2021. This growth has been due to the installation of very large wind turbines, which cannot be installed near built-up areas and urban regions. So there's a gap in the market. In this video, we're going to look at aero generators that seek to plug that gap. On this channel, Synergy Files, we aim to inspire you towards engineering and sustainability. Subscribe to get all of our updates. Horizontal axis wind turbines or HAWT are the main workhorse of the wind industry. Although there have been other types of turbines, but HAWT remain the preferred option because of their higher efficiency and better performance. It has to be said that they are very complex machines in which larger gains are made with bigger size. Therefore, the trend over time has been to develop bigger and bigger turbines. The average size of the new turbine is around 3 megawatts and above. These by no means can be installed near or inside built environments and urban populations. The large wind turbines require untrammeled wind with little turbulence. But what if there's a device that can actually make use of wind funnels in an urban environment and can benefit from the turbulence in the wind created by the obstacle? A device that is easy to place on top of buildings or on pavements, sidewalks or on road islands and doesn't require much footprint. A device that does not produce energy in megawatts but in kilowatt scale and can be easily integrated. Well, it turns out there is now indeed such a machine. The name of Vortex Bladeless has developed such wind energy generators. It is essentially a column made out of recycled plastics that oscillates as wind passes by it. This oscillatory motion is then converted into electricity through a linear alternator. This generator is omnidirectional, that is, it can convert wind energy coming from all directions without changing its orientation. The vortex bladeless has two main parts. The top column oscillates while the bottom column is fixed. It doesn't have a gearbox and therefore does not require any lubricants. The maintenance costs are also minimum. The oscillation of structures due to passage of wind is a well-known phenomenon. As the wind passes across a structure, vortices are generated in the wake. These vortices, attached to the side of the structure, eventually detach. At a certain speed, the detachment of the vortices isn't simultaneous, but alternates between the sides. This results in vibration. And by carefully constructing a moving structure, these vibrations can be enhanced. The company Vortex Bladeless is currently working on different products for three different scales of energy requirement. There is a one meter long generator called the Vortex Nano, which generates just three watts of power. The 2.75 meter long structure called the Vortex Tacoma gives 100 watts of nominal power output. And lastly, there is the Vortex Atlantis, which is a much larger structure of height 9 meters and generates 1 kilowatt of power. The amount of energy harnessed grows exponentially, squared by the height and cubed by the wind speed. However, it is obvious that in contrast to horizontal axis wind turbines, for the same footprint, the oscillating column wind energy generator produces a lot less. Having said that, it has its own set of advantages. Firstly, it is mechanically much simpler. It can work over a range of speeds from very low to very high in residential and urban environments. And unlike the HAWT, it is safe for birds. Another advantage of the Vortex turbines are the low costs. It is estimated that the Vortex turbines levelize cost of energy or the LCOE will be lower than traditional turbines, which will allow faster return on investment. This claim, however, needs to be investigated to be more certain. It can work in tandem with your solar power system and is practically useful during the night when the electricity load is low 
and there is no solar available. At present, Vortex Bladeless is heading into production phase. Soon these turbines will be available for purchase. And with this, the short video on an upcoming wind energy generator is concluded. If you learned something from this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.